Caleb Webster is actually my apprentice. I really much respect for the guy. When he started at us, he knew nothing, not even about spanners, not even about tractors. The amount of knowledge that he took in in a short amount is really breathtaking. Since I'm the apprentice there, my mentor is Mr. Luot, who is currently the workshop manager as well, so he for season runs everything there. I definitely can say that all the things that he has taught me, everything that I've learned along my journey, all the studies, has definitely paid off. He was always there motivating me and pushing me, saying, you can do it. We have a, a very good relationship. He's almost like a son to me, so I love him very much. He motivated me and said, no, why don't you enter a master mechanic? We actually sat in the office, I think, about two hours just talking about the excitement and the nervousness and what to expect. That's it. Then we started to bring in the tractors and study them. I made notes on every single sensor on the tractor. Competing against my boss was actually quite nerve-wracking. With the very last challenge, the thought went through my head that oh, I just lost to my apprenticeship. So I'll be hearing that for the rest of my life. Ladies and gentlemen, the winners of the Massey Ferguson Master Mechanic, Stian and Luerbeek. Congratulations. I'm actually very, very happy that my mentor won. I think I'm going to ask Mr. Luerbeek for some of my commissions, seeing that I came second to him. So uh, hopefully he will grant my request. <laughs> After me and Stier was arguing each other after we got to win, the first um, hand that was reaching for my hand was actually Caleb's hand. Definitely it's a win for the company and I'm very happy for him and would like to uh, co say congratulations to him once again. He's a apprentice, but he was competing with technicians, so um, I just told him that I'm very proud of him. Like, he actually got second place and um, I just keep on telling everybody just Keep your eye on this guy, you will surprise you one of these days.